Well, I'll say one thing. At least today it's not as co like um, compelling. Maybe I'm just, it's, uh, yeah, I just, I've got other things on my mind, thank God. Because this thing, I was just like, whoop, getting sucked right into it. It's just like so many neato things to think about. Um, so yeah, all the little red things are just, uh, like I said, I've just, any time I saw a place name or whatever, I popped it in and there was a few things, uh, a few places I was really happy about that. I, I mean, I just didn't see them and I was like, okay, as uh, this one was way down here, I mentioned it to, to Charles the Tour in one of the comments. Cause he was like, oh, I hope you're writing this down. I don't start making railroads all over the flipping place. Try to make them realistic. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But it was this one here, Aqaba, I think. And I was like, okay, I didn't, uh, wasn't sure if it was part of Egypt or if it was part of the Ottoman Empire's uh, territory. And so I looked it up in Wikipedia and then lo and behold, I find out that Lawrence of Arabia, that was the, the place I guess he got the Arabs to um, attack Aqaba there. I'm not sure if that's, I've only seen like about maybe the last half hour of whatever, I think it's what the Peter O'Toole movie or something, but um uh, so maybe that's the place they attack. I don't know, but uh, it was saying that uh, Aqaba in real life back then um, um, it was heavily defended from the uh, from the uh, you know from the sea. And uh, anyways, I guess Lawrence of Arabia was like, hey, you know, if we can take this place, it's really going to help to be uh, bring troops up, um, you know, towards Jerusalem, I guess, and whatnot. Like this is all area, uh, stuff I just don't I don't know about yet. Like I was saying. I put in the yellow guys just to see where they're going. So I'll show you where some of the rail lines I'm trying to think of. And trust me, it's going to take forever. A long time. I'm not just like, you know, in two minutes they're going to be done. So this one, the uh, the Mon to Aqaba rail line, um, if I remember correctly, should take if... Uh, and it's also because it's a combination of um, crappy terrain and the climate. I'm not allowing any rail line construction to occur during the summer months. So uh, I think this would be completed in March. Hold on here. I've got to remember them all. Uh, this one would be completed in March 1916, I do believe. And uh, right now in the world, we're in, as you know, November 1914. So this is the one, though. And I mean, the Brits know what's going on. They can see everything that's happening. And, and I mean, they've got, you know, spies and so on and so forth. I've also popped in the... I switched it from the other map there, so I popped in, like, there's the first army headquarters, roughly around Damascus, headquartered. Uh, the second army um, is roughly uh, headquartered around Jerusalem. Remember, they're just mobilizing right now. It's in November. I mean, the Brits know what the heck's going on, and like I said, the spies and so on and so forth. This is the one they're scared to dickens about, I guess, in some ways, and there's nothing they can do about it. So it's the the Mosul to, to Crete uh, Railway, uh, should be finished by March uh, 1915, um, so just before summer hits so, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, it's gonna. It's just because they got two railways going. And this is what happened historically as well. I was reading up on uh, how they did, like, you know, a lot of that stuff back then. And they were, like, going in, uh, you know, uh, both directions kind of thing to meet up in the middle, that type of stuff. And there's the Reserve Corps of three divisions sitting over there in Mosul right now. Uh, this, so that'll be finished in, you know, like I said, by uh, March 1915, so just uh, around the corner. This one should be finished, I do believe, in March. No, sorry, hold on here. This one will be finished, that's right, both of these are Marches, I do believe. I'm sorry. So this one should be finished Yes. Oh, darn it. Hold on. I'll get my book. So, yeah, back to this. So the Mosul to Tikrit Railway will be done in by March um, 1915. It's the Mon to Aqaba one will be done. Oh, okay, this one will be done in November 1915. Not bad. And it's just oh, so close to getting it done uh, before the summer months hit. But these are estimate estimates, and I, d I just can't possibly see it happening. Um, so it'll be darn close. But um, And this one, this is the worst. That's right. I think this is the, um, the Al-Hila to Nazriha uh, rail line, I do believe. Yes, this one is going to take flipping forever. That one won't be finished, so all the way over to here. This one won't be done uh, right over here. Um, this one won't be done until March 1917. Oh my God, that'll be a long time. 
And then this one I do believe is what I said. Uh, hold on, that one is the... That's the coot to uh, Al Amira Railway or something. And that's uh, going to be finished in March 1916. So, I mean, these are all estimates, but like I said, it's not like these are going to be done in two seconds flat. And they're going to require a lot of supply points and so on and so forth. But, uh, yep, you can see what I mean. It's just been a, yeah, it's just so, you know, I just really want to get stuck right into this stuff. Okay, that's it. And, but, I mean, goodness gracious, you should see what I've been doing with uh, the mini game there with the first army. Just been having a blast. Well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, see you later.